Delta variant, of course, it continues to spread across the country. So the White House is all set to make some sweeping changes to its COVID policy. Today, President Biden is expected to announce that all federal workers and contractors, that's about 2 million people, will have to prove that they've been vaccinated against COVID or else have regular COVID testing. The administration is also making indoor mask a requirement at federal buildings in areas of high transmission for both the employees and the visitors, too. Several major companies are also introducing strict new vaccine policies. Facebook and Google are now requiring all U.S.-based employees to be vaccinated if they want to come back to the office, unless they cannot do so for medical reasons. Netflix is also requiring vaccinations for all cast members and on-set crew for their U.S.-based productions. We're joined now by Nicholas Thompson, the CEO of The Atlantic. Good morning to you, Nicholas. When you hear about Facebook and Google making these requirements, do you think other companies will follow suit? I think a lot of companies are going to follow suit very quickly. A lot of companies are doing this. I think one of the things we've seen since the beginning of the pandemic is that the tech companies in general have been ahead of everybody else. They were the first to let employees start working from home. And that's Partly because it's just easier for them to take action and to let all their employees work remotely because they're just working over computers. So I think we'll see again what we saw back in March. What are some of the legal ramifications you could see with this? As you mentioned, those are tech companies, so it's easy to do that work. But what about other companies that might say you have to get mandated if you want to come back in this building? Well, the law is fairly clear that you can mandate your employees get vaccinated as long as you take reasonable action to protect people under the American Disabilities Act or people with religious freedom exemptions. So mm -hmm. the law is clear that you can do it. Now, at some companies, you might get an employee backlash. You might, in fact, see that at the tech companies where they have a lot of libertarians, they come a little bit out of the counterculture. You can see it being a contentious issue, but I think legally you're allowed to do it. Well, and Nick, it's a, but it's a very competitive workplace right now. A lot of people are having trouble finding workers. Do you think that could factor in in terms of what they're going to do? Yes and no, right? In certain areas, it could be an, a disadvantage to mandate that your employees get vaccinated because maybe a large pool of the people you want don't want to get the vaccine. In other areas, it could be an advantage because people will feel a lot safer if they know that their colleagues are vaccinated. I also think that the tech companies are taking a bet that this will make it seem that they have moral leadership and this will help their overall reputations. Mm -hmm. So they probably think it's a competitive advantage but in other areas, it could work the other way. Well, Nick, I sure hope other companies follow suit. You know, people say they're confused. The CDC keeps changing or flip-flopping. And I, I think they pointed out the other day that the CDC isn't changing. It's this variant that has changed. The science has changed. And now we have to act accordingly. So how can companies realistically enforce these policies? It's hard to enforce, right? And what we don't know from the tech companies is whether they'll just say employees must promise they've been vaccinated, or whether they'll take a further step and say employees must send in their vaccination cards and we'll verify them. So we'll get the details on that. There are certainly ways of enforcing it and mandating it, but you're right, it is a tricky thing to do. I think you are also right that as the science changes, private companies can take action to lead in the response, which is one of the things we're seeing here. Yeah, because employees can say, look, you know, you can't force me to do this. And I think you're right. You can't enforce employees to do, to do that. But I think companies have the right to say, I want to keep uh, my, my employees safe so you can't work here. Right. And so what Facebook and Google are going to do, and this is partly why they can go first, is that they can say, OK, fine. If you refuse to get vaccinated and you can do your job completely remotely and not get in contact with your other employees, which is true for a fairly significant number of their employees, then they'll let the employee work at home. So they have an easier time doing it than, say, a company where everybody has to come into the office. And if somebody says then, hey, I refuse to get vaccinated, you then have a really hard choice of whether you let that employee go or change your policies. So it's easier for tech companies to make that choice right now. All right, Nick Thompson, it certainly is the beginning of a conversation that a lot of companies will be having. Thanks a lot.